Okay, so you wanted me to do something, you see? Yeah, no, we'll get up the trail. I mean, this thing will do it in, in, in four high, but we're gonna just get up just past the split and then we'll stop. Okay. And um, now four wheeling, do you, do you have much experience wheeling? A little, not a lot. It's honestly, it's about traction, right? It's slow right. traction. Right. It's yes. not about being a hammer. It's about letting the systems do. Down. Yeah, go ahead and put it in neutral. Okay. And then press and hold this button for just about two seconds. That'll put us in four low. We're gonna go back into here. I'm gonna put the suspension up one mode. It takes us up about an inch. There's about four inches of, of travel between all the way up to all the way down. Oh, I can see. Yeah, I was watching it. Yeah, you ready to go? Okay. My wife and I did do an all day Jeep driving event out at what, Hungry Valley? Okay. A few years ago, okay. but that was good. That was a lot of fun. Well, it's amazing what. Uh, I mean, it was put on by Jeep. Good. But it was a day worth of driving with instructors. Wow. Different vehicles. This has got a rear locker. This has got our off-road two suspension. So it's got the skid plates, the air suspension, or uh, an electronic locking rear diff. Um, the front is open, but it's got uh, the brake lock traction control. So if it senses slip, it'll break the wheel that is slipping, diverting the power to the to the tire that's uh, on the ground. Um, this car's got. Heated, heated steering wheel, heated seats, cooled seats. Okay, nice and slow through here. Just yeah. I'm gonna go straddle this this way. You know, you can go, you can go right through the middle of that and this thing. But you're one that picks a line, and that's good. You picked actually the the best line through there. Well, I'm used to driving on roads like this in two wheel drive sedans. Okay. Not quite as bad, but you're you the old school wheeling, which is you got to pick a line. Yeah, we had two Volvos and we had put limited slip differentials in both of them. And you could do a lot with those cars. Oh, absolutely. We don't have those anymore. Now we have two BMWs. Yep. So I wouldn't do that in either one of our BMWs. But, um, you know, it's, it's funny. When I first started working for Jeep, you know, 20 years ago, you know, where it was just limited slips, you know, you had to pick a line, yeah. right? Um, well, you, you had to pay attention to where you were going and what you were doing and now with locking differentials people t tend to get a little bit lazy yeah well I always like to pick a line because I don't want to get hung up right. and you can break things under there absolutely <laughs> well absolutely and the last thing you want to do is break anything break something and have to walk home here right. it's here it's easy yeah no so I actually we have a van conversion motor home with a lot of big truck tires and built on a, a Dodge Maxi van, but with a stiffened suspension, big truck tires, and uh, it can go a lot of places, even just with two wheel drive. Although you, it can't go everywhere, so you right. still have to know what you're doing. Right. Now, who do you write for? I'm mainly for the BMW Car Club. Okay. But uh, we do do articles that cover more than BMW cars. A lot of the owners have a variety of other cars too for right. other purposes. Like I've organized a number of trips. Well, I've done some trips for the LA chapter, including uh, the Death Valley. So sometimes the people will come with their four-wheel drive vehicles, you know, because then you can go on. The, so you got more choices of roads to go on. What these guys are doing? Well, maybe they've got to wait for somebody. So somebody's on a hill. Yeah, there's no obstacles here. So you've done the hard course. Yes. Okay. We'll take you over there. When we get up, when you just start coming down, we'll stop and I'll show you how um, the. We're gonna go. We're gonna show you, I'll show you the uh, hill descent and how that works. You know, cause we can go into one and use gearing to slow you down. Yeah, but, but the hill descent's much better. Hill descent's even better. And, yeah. and 
even in one with hill descent now if we use this you can if you're in one it's three miles an hour if you're in gear two it's four to five miles an hour if you're gear three you're going to be going you know five to seven miles an hour so it just gives you even more control What kind of rear axles does this come now? I mean, what what it, type of rear suspension does it, it have? It's it's a it's a it's um I think a five link. Um, it's a solid. It's a rigid so, rear axle. Yeah. So that's I know when we did this a long time ago, that's what it was. But right. they said the advantage there were some significant advantages of that for really articulation. Yeah. Artic go ahead and start. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and hit you there. And you know. You know what? You know what? Actually, what we're going to do is I'm going to start you with it off. Just go ahead and let the brake. You can feel it now. If I, I'm going to turn it on. Feel it grab you? Yeah. That's just through the brake, and I'm going to turn it back off. You feel it let go? Now I'm going to turn it back into two, and we're just going to let two take us down. Okay, slow down. It should do it by itself, right? Yeah, and it just it needed a second to catch it. <laughs> it's you know let's let's let this go. Let's go ahead and stop. Let's let him get down. This is getting pretty soft. That's probably good. That I drove that V-Works vehicle today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course there's huge tires and everything. It just gobbles it all up. Right. But a lot of work with the searing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead. That's uh, I would put it in the lowest. Yeah, let it because we're gonna. It's gonna want to fall into that hole. So let's just start in that hole. You know, it's gonna. That's so I'm not giving it any gas. No, no, just let it go by itself. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You know, if I wanted to, we could speed it up a little bit. I'll go to two, and you'll see it'll go a little bit faster. But see, it's also sliding a little right, bit more. Right, right. Yeah, because as you say, it's been... I'm going to go back to one. We're just going to... Now, I like going right through the state to the left and put your left tires right through this hole. Okay. like well if you turn the wheel very much it starts just pushing so if you if you do get sideways you want to turn into the fall if that makes sense yes no no I, I understand okay you, you want to go down these hills this north, way north and south not, not sideways right. that's correct because you will roll sideways right yes boy someone got a little squirrely there yeah too much of a hurry, maybe. Right. You want to, with that hill getting that soft, you want to, I'm going to take this off, so get ready to put your foot on the brake. Okay. We'll go down here, now I'm going to let you do the braking on this. Okay. And just nice and slow. you got that big hole. You can either go right through it, just don't hit the brake when you, when you feel that back end come up. Especially on this one. Yeah, I'm going to miss that one. Turn to the right. You want to turn into this. There we go. So many of us live in Southern California. Right, we have right. so many of these gorgeous days. I'm gonna put you in two. Yeah. As, oh, I mean, my wife and I have traveled a lot of places, and we still live in our modest little house in San Pedro. But we're close to the ocean, and right. just can't beat the weather. Right. And we like our little neighborhood, and we're not going anywhere in terms of moving. Right. Now, are you full-time with the magazine, or do you have a, a day nah, gig? 
No, actually, I'm re fully re okay. retired. I was the regional attorney for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric okay. Administration and retired Good. some years ago. But I was always serious into photography. And then I shot for one of the celebrity photo agencies part-time for a while after I retired for the hell of it. Got some of that stuff published. And then we bought a couple BMWs. And then I started organizing weekend trips for the BMW Car Club in LA and because I thought that was one of their activities that nobody was really doing was like three day weekend trips to interesting places and right. doing photos and writing articles about that. I've always, lo I've always loved to drive. And then it's been a pleasure to see in recent years the quality of the vehicles go up generally oh, so much. Oh, tremendous improvement. And people have such a nice, you know, they really have a, such a great selection of vehicles to pick from. Right. And I think that's, you know, one of the challenges for people who are writing articles to help with the manufacturers is to point out to people uh, what the variety of choices really are. Right. Because a lot of people, you know, we've had some friends where I've made some suggestions of things they hadn't even thought about that, you know, then they ended up being very happy. Right. Just to go take a look at something they wouldn't even think to look at. Right. Because things have changed since people last looked for cars for right. a lot of people. Right. You know, like Hyundais, you know, Kias, you know, you yeah. wouldn't even have considered those, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah, or like like the VWs with their, some of their diesels, right. you know, the small diesels. Uh, we do have to do a two-point turn here. Yeah, I guess it won't make it. You're good up here. I think we're we're not going to scratch on this side. There we go. <laughs> So this being California, a lot of people, or a lot of families, you know, have will have some variety of vehicles. You know, right. they may own a BM, like the BMW, too. they may own a BMW, but they may also, own, you know, a four-wheel drive vehicle. A mini, know, yeah. Uh, they may own uh, something to haul a big trailer with, uh, you know, to the toys and whatever right. the vehicle toys. So. No, you're definitely right. I mean, they're all over the map. Not not like one brand families, right? You don't see that very often. Now, my wife and I have tended to be one brand families at a time, other than our van conversion motorhome, which is a Dodge. Because actually, I have found that helps in dealing with the dealership. Like, have two car go in with two cars, and if they're basically, even if they're slightly different variations with the same engine and basically same transmission, whatever. It makes it easier to learn your car and stay right. on top of it. For sure. And then the dealership and the mechanic, they see you twice as often. And uh, I think that's helped in terms of getting attention and service. Yeah, I, you're probably right. So Although, we're not, we're not going to turn on hill descent here, but when you hit the, when you go down this next one, just stay to the right. The, the better line is to the right. You can see where that truck went. Yeah, right here, where you want to be. If you're over there, you tend to want to fall this way, so you might as well start this way and not fall into it. Perfect, right there. Yep. But I wish we had a three-car garage. <laughs> one thing we do now is we volunteer as fire lookouts in the Sequoia National Forest, and uh, we really could use uh, a nice fire veterans four-wheel drive vehicle. Well, we don't have any place to really put it. Unless... I suppose what we might. Yeah, I know. I was just making okay. it a little wider. Get rid of our motorhome and park it in the driveway. In 
certainly a lot of people in the car club have a, have multiple cars. Right. <laughs> right. A lot of car club people are sufficiently into cars. They have or multiple vehicles. Right. They're not all cars. Getting a little power steering groan. Sort of surprised they couldn't get BMW to bring out an X3 or X5. I think some manufacturers were just kind of taking a wait and see approach to this. I've driven the. So just kind of stay on the right to the right here a little bit. Some people like to get close so to the So there's a little the green line on it up at the top. What is that? Stay to the right? Yeah, that's good right there. Just to give you plenty of room to cut around this. Yeah, oh yeah, right. I yes, I remember this corner. Go yeah, up and good. then turn. You're, you're good. Yeah. Oh. So what which green line are you talking about? Oh no, it went away. Oh. <laughs> it's gone. It was a little green up light up at the top. Oh no, it's there. They would just walk by the steering wheel. Isn't that that's just lights. That's just Oh the, yeah, so headlights. Yeah, it's just saying that Maybe because of the shadow here in the trees. So tell, telling us the lights have turned on, or I we should. So. Turn, oh, I see. They go on automatically. Yeah. It's got that setting. Okay. Hey, Buckaroo, how you doing? It's a wrap. No more. That's it, course is closed. We got 15 minutes, buddy. No, 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 your clock's slow. It's four o'clock. What does that thing say? It stated. Yeah, it hasn't moved. I well, think it is four. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's where we start off. It was at that. Hey, time. thanks so much for loaning me that Jeep, by the way. Alright, cool. Good. That's weird. So I assume this car handles quite nicely on the highway as well. Yeah. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and stop it. We're in four low. Okay. So we put it new to this for us, new you know, four low. Both the Wrangler, all of our vehicles. Like neutral. So Wrangler, Liberty, Grand Cherokee. Well done. Nice. Good driving. I'm gonna pull in there. Okay. Well, hopefully nobody's car got damaged this event. I think I saw a little bit of damage on one car and that's it. Well, the few of the wider vehicles, it feels a little challenged to avoid scraping. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 